the power Press of God, I, I don't know, but hands. there are people God is raising to become Press mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now. Let it rest upon you. Just turn this song into a prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. More than gold. More than silver. More than riches. More than faith. You are not one of the many important things in my life. You are everything. Everything. Like the video you are about to watch everything. and comment on it. Stay blessed. It says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. And Lord, we declare that tonight is that night. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a big, big hand clap and please you be seated. So Jesus, we... We declare truly from the depths of our hearts that we love you and that you mean everything. You are not the most important thing in our lives. You are everything, 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 everything. everything. We are not ashamed to let the world know that when we have you, it is not a disadvantage. So we thank you. Thank you for giving us the gift of your presence. The gift of understanding the value of your presence. We'll raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. So we'll sing in honor of it. The highest royalty. We'll I am raise my your banner high. We'll shine your glorious majesty. So bright. We'll sing. I cast in my crown before. The highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of Kings and Lord. You are the You're the King of Kings and Lord. Your glorious majesty Yabonenaka Sujata Hallelujah Shalabaranda We bring you worship, O oh God our King Oh, oh, oh.
You are Yahweh. 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 You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. It's not a song, it's an understanding. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. You're my Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. There is no You are Yahweh. 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 You You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Sons of the world, several nations in Africa, respectfully but sadly, one more time. Even in our land, you are Yahweh. Alpha. I believe like you do that this is not the best of all happy You are Yahweh. And that in the name of Jesus Christ, I will of this crusade. God is going to be lifting us from where we are. Place of destiny. Mm. If you're in agreement, shout it out. Yahweh, Alpha, Healer, Blesser, the Lifter. I want to give you Yahweh. Say, Lama, Nana, 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 the principles are irrefutable. You are lifter, you are lifter. Alpha, and Omega, my restorer, Alpha, and Omega. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. He's seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Adoration to the Father. You are seated on the throne. My worship to you, Father. You are seated on the throne. The Bible says, Seated on the throne. Blessed is you are seated on the throne. Who the Lord seated on the throne. Blessed is the seated on the Seated on the throne. It's a sign of rest. 
total control. You are seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne. You're not wasting your time, my prayer people. You are connecting to spiritual things. Bless him in the spirit. He was in the prophets of Baal. At that time, it's in the And they were all Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God. We worship you, Lamb of God. I honor you, Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. I worship you. Sabarakata de Kata. Shila Barada da 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 Father, because our forefathers we have come again hearts, tonight even though confused even though our not hearts educated, and our spirits open they made this decision to receive that i may not know what the future holds for this it's a feast of, of people, light but now that you have proposed Lord, we thank that you. there is a god in heaven we thank you tonight. who can lift and who can make Shala it Baruch we embrace your Baruch. message and God let the entrance of your word give understanding let me show you what i can do with men let it bless and lift us change our lives forever thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus but once again thank you jesus supernatural convergence to remind majesty thank you that we go back to history and learn that every territory that rejects the God of heaven. It is only a matter of time. Thank you. There will be a plethora Thank of casualties that will come upon that earth. In the name Are we learning tonight? of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A clear definition In the name of who is worthy of Jesus Christ. A clear Christ. definition of Please who you must serve. Good evening, everyone. Because when your children ask you, Daddy, Mommy, who do we serve? Let's bless the Lord for the dear woman of God, angel. Judith. God bless you. There we honor you. The Lord bless you. As to what you will do. In the Bible, Let your heart be open. We are going to pray. Of God, and they will I just want to share 
if they ask you this question tell them something very powerful let me show you one will more be brief i want us to spend some time to praying tonight. tonight job chapter 12 and verse in the 23. name of jesus job chapter 12 and verse many things happen in atmospheres job like this 12, you not only receive information the bible but says he increased the nation uh, and destroy them that are distributed enlarge the nation praise the lord and strain at them again another version says he mm. makes nations great second timothy chapter it is, one it is god that sustains the Thank power you, to Jesus make Christ. any nation great there is second no timothy nation chapter that becomes one great by seven. itself my bible and your Let's bible the says it was the tonight. lord that advanced Moses. please read with era. me it's projected we one, do not just read. go forward for god we are moved has not forward given us by the god of the heaven. spirit Read of your fear, bible and see but how of god power lifted men from nothing and of love and, Daniel and of a and sound Joseph. mind one more time for god has not given us the god spirit of lead. fear when Dr. but of Banner power us and of love and of a sound of worship mind. I Help sat us, back Holy there and i listened to him as he was sharing his story there are certain things that i want us to learn Number one, can I tell you this? Is Everyone that everyone under the sound of my voice inside when outside, God scattered, scattered wants around, to bless a man, this, this theater, this he stadium, gives him the spirit of the I blessing. See you as far as you are, the Bible is talking about know, the giving of spirits here. That if you make up your mind, that fear has a that spirit. That I may not know what the future that holds, love regardless the disadvantages around my life. But I make up my mind once and for all that I will not dilly-dal about my allegiance to spirit. I make up my mind that the God of heaven will be shown of spirits. But he's only saying among the spirits given, God does not give fear. And listen carefully before we get into the subject of fear. So when God wants to cause your mind to be sound. The first thing he does is not to give I you an information. Down there is a spirit you. dimension. And then kneel down there is a transaction a that does happen in the realm of the spirit. And no then way. it will manifest because as a sound mind. Listen very carefully. If fear comes to you, it does not come as a psychological reality. The spirit is sent. Listen carefully. When that spirit gets a hold you, of you, Life it will now take advantage death. of your faculties of expression you, and you begin to react to what you may think is psychological true, called that fear you and your children hallelujah that means your decisions Very move beyond so the bible here is saying god had not given the spirit of fear all spirits are given and all spirits are received so number one that god can give something that wants to be so if fear is at work a in a man it means that somehow you received it of are we together now whether you are aware or not the bible anything given has to be received to find expression as many as, as for received me, him you shall like receive Panam, power have so the bible is saying life. god had not given Go us the spirit way, of fear the rest of my life this is a very powerful revelation whatever you have not gotten the spirit of, you have not gotten that reality so if the spirit of revelation is not upon you you cannot have revelation no matter how you read and if you doubt the spirit is what empowers you if the spirit of the blessings the wealth of the kingdom does not come upon you no matter what you do physically he will not give it expression number two. that means god starts to lift people by introducing them to the, the spirit component of everything that he wants to bring them into write this down if and every know. physical dimension here has a matching no spiritual dimension and that god will grant you access listen carefully to the spirit dimension of that reality and then sooner or later you will begin to walk in a that reality vision so death is, the is a spirit and before a vision that a becomes the driving death force happens there for is a proposition in the realm of the spirit America and somehow if for any reason you receive that spirit 
the then American what you have received will begin to manifest. Life is also a spirit that it is possible that you can receive it and no matter what the barrier we is, learn the reality of it will come upon you. To Favor is a spirit. It's not just a good will. That means the spirit the can come upon you and that spirit Sadly, itself will alter your behavior and alter African those nations. around you. To and begin to reflect it. Listen, and the characteristics of spirits is, is that they is use no bodies and, there is and no they use minds for expression. When a spirit is around you or poor you or within you, it will begin going? to alter you it's to a reflect it. We must answer. Are you getting As what I'm saying? People, now? Yes. We have a that means if a gentleman has a spirit that makes him steal, for instance. Now he may not even know he has received that spirit. Everything around him is reflecting that there is an influence higher and greater than him compelling him to steal. If you hide money under this pulpit, he should not know. But the spirit, like word of knowledge, will cause him to bend and take that money out. There must be a theme. He doesn't have to know he's been led of who we are because he has received what God wants us to do. As a people, are we together now? So that at the back so the of first everyone who is the son is that a man and daughter only of the soil, you have it at the, the back of your mind your that there is an anthem that represents that every result our pursuit, and every dimension our passion, has a spirit component, clan, and that when you have it, where we are then it is a reality. Speaking, we must be governed by a common Listen very carefully. That represents Elijah where we are knew this. And when he began to pray, nation, there was something he was looking and any for. Territory that that rain in itself has a, a spirit vision, component. A theme. Are we together now? Far. And the this moment he started this seeing that manifestation, he knew that something had already this been crystallized to in the realm of the And he began this applies to nations. And within a short time, speaking. there was a, a thick cloud. God there has not given us a clear representation of, of who the we are. The second thing people. I want you to learn and where is how God deals with we fear. Are going to. Look how dangerous fear Hear is. What the Bible that says. it takes three In dimensions of God's spirit and to verse totally 18. conquer fear. Proverbs 29 and verse 18. My Bible Look says at how where God there addresses is no fear. Vision, the people that because of perish. how dangerous where and there is no this vision, operation is, the people, it is no not matter enough how well to give you power. No matter how fear. well meaning, that where there is, there is no vision, combination, the people perish of power of love and of a sour mind. chapter two this is what when you read from verse two and three in a man's Habakkuk life. chapter two from so verse god two has three. not given you this he says write fear, the vision but to shield don't you from the effect of the vision he don't gives just you the spirit the vision. of power don't just imagine the vision. The spirit of Write love. the vision. He, he says, gives you the then he says, make it plain. Listen, that means explain that it means to the understanding of everyone. And the Bible leaves you with an assurance fear. that he may run. That if he gives you power, energy is because weakness pursuit, is associated with fear. In vision. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There is a Any relationship between weakness will and not fear. Go far. That Every every time that you are not, not aware of strength, will not the reaction Any nation is that you can allow fear to find expression. When you Number meet two, an average that there is a American, revelation no of the love of God no matter how and lawless, love towards will men that if you, you do not say, sustain, fear there is will is what inevitable. is called the American Number three, a there is a relationship between a depraved understanding and fear. Look at how God solves the issue of my proposition to us, therefore, love, that in all that we have to do, power, there has to be a creed mind. that represents our common Do you know, destiny. listen, let me tell you this. Fear looks we like should a very not simple just look issue. into the past, but did you and know wishing that and making every beautiful other spirit memories of waits the for fear There must be a walk. creed. If you reject fear, you can reject infants. every other spirit. From primary the school Bible says, and to, to deliver school, them who to the colleges, the let them know that we are not a scattered people walking to, to find meaning for ourselves. Meaning that this every is what we have is at the mercy of our fear. Pursuit. It this is, is where we are going. The, the next 50 the years, door. let me tell you this visions out that every oppression of darkness that comes to we you must be able to waiting for fear our to give them access by being people and that people. fear begins to manipulate there your understanding today in and Africa that if you lack across the world when you the lack individuals love, die you lack that is the end of the program the end of the business the end of the fear the reason is because they have no clear vision 
visions do not die even when the many people die, sail in there life must be a creed that is not greater than any individual ignorance that immortalizes the fear. impact of the tarot fear. the fear to take steps number two the fear to arise vision. the fear to minister number the fear three to do are we so learning many tonight? things that's why when the angels appear the first that thing they make tell for people the transformation is of any nation not. Because and they know that the weakness of man is values. Why ask them to be afraid? Values. I also put in bracket ethics. Yeah, though and I walk through the conduct. valley of the shadow of no death, society I will and no nation tries. That means that is what is supposed values. to happen. There has to be that a every time you are surrounded by uncertainty, values the valley and codes of, of the conduct. shadow, not the spirit, the shadow, the similitude of death. Meaning that in whatever Proverbs looks like death can cause fear. And verse 20, no matter how the Bible real says or aberrated it is, does not have the valley of the shadow of death is like to a fear. city it says, I will that fear does not have war. Evil. That there is a reason a city with for no thou art with me. I have Values constrain us presence and, and your love to coordinate our energy. Listen very to be carefully. Very productive Courage is not the issue of masculinity. How do we behave? It is a product of understanding certain things about God. One more time shout values that the spirit of power this, is given to men when so you that go they to can the bank fear. tomorrow there is a way they behave you look at a banker and it does not have to tell you, you i are am a suddenly banker. told there is a code right of now, operation are we are we is that true that we have so many you military have the people power here, and when you see a military man whether with a uniform cancer. or not sooner or later Even their ethics and their codes of drug. that make Do us you know, know that no education afraid. is excellent models is that, that help us see that god can pick a the man from nothing to something you hear look up please let me tell you this does something um, to you and if you do not have the power most to resist people will it, know. it will cost who is fear. mark zuckerberg and when fear enters someone you, help it will me destroy answer. everything who is mark zuckerberg life. my dear people the so the spirit of, of fear manipulates you seen him? your understanding. Yes. Do you know Manipulates him? your no. faculty Does of he know expression. You? No. But because How many he has reason to be someone who represents because a model in an area. Say, I they do not you are forced to learn about him. Fear. And many people pattern you, their you lives get the point now? Him. They are not Did aware you know that this can that there are many and people so today with confidence. who can fight now, that means you that the moment you are aware Wave your of hands. the potential of a thing to destroy you, yourself now and you are aware that you do not this have is a power stadium. over it, it will create an unnecessary Hallelujah. sense of caution. Why and do United. we fear poverty? Because we think we do not Barcelona. have power over it. Believe Why me, do we fear death? So don't you think have that you I seen have traditionally I'm only repeating that what I cut heard. themselves and nothing happens? A Alleluia. system try to aberrate power together? and immune them now, how so they can bear the unbearable because they are aware that there is some kind of power and buy an that has given them Jesse. immunity and be proud of it now? as an achievement. When armed robbers go to rob and, and they rob all kinds of things around pride. them, do you know what they to you? believe that Something awareness that there is some power Something that they about have their results will make them look at you and even stand in front of a gun after them. That is the definition and of then influence. you shoot and nothing happens influence and is the ability Why? to because have an effect on them. another person that the means ability that to cause a person of of and a people to keep buy you into forever. your ideologies without using force or cruelty we need influencers please listen to men and teaching. women who will make loving god not look like a thing of shame men and women who the will show that failure. dignity of labor is excellent the fear of limitation Transformation is difficult until the there is fear a of weakness. You cannot change weakness. into nothing. The fear there must be something you are seeing. Death. The fear of poverty causes poverty. And let me pause here and ask us. Wasteful people, spending is bad. In one minute, but fearful spending is evil. In honor to every one person, every general, every professor, every diplomat who has come Notice from this the soil degree to and has become a model and an inspiration. Can the we give them a round of applause in honor? Every pastor, every general, every royal father confused. who has defied pain, a who has defied limitation, and, and today they become inspirations in not just to us, coffin, but to nations. You stand up and all of a sudden, in your own room, you are no longer comfortable. You need somebody else's presence Here is my to console prayer. you. 
that one day we will no voice here. was heard something was done clapping, to your mind you will be part of but the awareness of power he says but the people that do today know their you are clapping God, for all they shall be but strong, that you will be so challenged by tonight's strong teaching, power and you will make up your mind the awareness that the believer can sustain power over and against the works of darkness can annihilate and destroy fear listen listen to me fear has destroyed more people than you can imagine when i was about to there are many people who may never rise there are many families who may never rise there are many ministers who may never rise because of fear but then this letter the fear of death being the greatest of them Miles, i would die i may die job said the thing that i feared most has come upon me about to start because fear job. works like faith and so the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear me. he was a man who but of so power he was an advisor number two to about of love presidents. The there is something about the understanding of the love of God. Of you see, the Bible says, I have loved you with an everlasting love, and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Let me talk to you. Why do people not give? What is the reason? And yet he was a humble talk to me. He was a noble man. And I said, This is it. Mm. This is what my future looks like. Is there someone whose life if I tell you empty your account say, now? Represent my future. This is it. What do you think is going to happen to you? There must be some. You say, well, it's not what's the issue. Why, why should I empty it? Who can inspire it others. for something? Not it's too much negative things. Listen, fear. there are some of you who are behaving well on are we to together now? certain models. Oh, travel bad from here to example. Lagos. You say, ah, bad night boss. sources of inspiration. This Abuja Kaduna Express. You were not where smoking, I've, I've you were not drinking. Around you lived a decent and fear. a disciplined life. Listen until very, very you watch carefully. the movie, until you watch TV. And you saw someone who defined success for you, lot of people. and you made up your mind. You cannot rise Today, because you are afraid. There. And the Bible have says all there is something about the knowledge of the ways. love of God. This is not you see, condemn, sometimes we need to really know who you. God is. We there are many believers models. who cannot even rise spiritually this because of an aberrated understanding God must of who God is. To have so there is something about the love of God. It says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. For God so loved the world. Now, Behold what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us. It is a if God who did not spare his son but offered him freely, how that. much more? Listen, it says, if ye be we evil, must be very know open how to give good gifts. To celebrate the men and the women that God so a revelation of the love of God can to your but confidence. we must have a sense of that I know that I know that Let I know tell you this. that God will Most back times me we only that I know that I know that I know that God loves me and it. his interest has it is been a challenge upon that we my have life. in the middle belt and God must help us to be and discerning the and celebrate people mind. while they are rising when the Lord not when they are risen wow if you are not a part of a man's success story don't expect honor when they are sound mind is a spirit. people will only celebrate no those who are there rising with them he was not, not just mad because he was risen. confused his talking anyhow so was a reflection of his spirit that was at work and the bible says when jesus this man was they came later and they invested in that with jesus in his right the mind Mighty man of the, the mighty man of David. In his My right challenge, mind is that we a must sound a mind. The word sound here means to celebrate potential. It means enlightened greatness. Go and enlightened schools, mind. Start looking for the best students mind. that are there. That Let's you start have too much in that information to just because those little children they may not seem to you know much. Adult, but they if are I tell you this, show you potential you will not be afraid because there when is When you a have a family of ten, you have people, an understanding. And you have enough for your ten years with no father, no mother, and he farms by himself. That means when we do not have an enlightened perception and an understanding, it can create fear, all kinds of fear. We need to invest in people rising. Many Think of our young people today who are plunged in life. into irresponsible lifestyles. They attempted to test the journey for all greatness and they and found out they were alone. Bondage. No support. Now this is not to compare there are people territories. Today but there are territories in this nation. There are territories in people Africa today who will never that as a people of fear. they will never there go There are some of you who will never go to the village because you have had a report somewhere. And you say me and village, God forbid. 
we cannot wait for people to fish their way struggle their way cry their way fail their God way then when they become great we expect fear, that they show allegiance he has to given us parents of power. believe you know in your children while they are is? rising not when they are risen the spirit of power is not just the anointing the young no. boy may not no, be able to speak things. english the spirit, spirit of power boy, he does is not, not the anointing i know when that he's not Moses was yet, telling joshua but celebrating for what you see in he him said, that is good joshua don't allow be people feel stupid for being decent. Good don't allow people feel stupid for being right. The he young boy may not have gone to school yet, an anointing but to every no, week no, no, you no, no, see no. him in church. No, no, no. While his colleagues are drinking prince. and smoking, he's, he's behaving himself wisely. That is a discipline leader in the making. He invests in that potential. Confronts challenges. Be strong, he said. And of are good courage. Did the Bible not say be strong in the Lord and in the we must learn of his might to discern great every time the bible is talking about many the arsenals of today, darkness it says be strong many territories you today, need the power if it the were strength the them, capacity to dare the unbearable the soils may not if you will ever rise to be great to positions of notoriety because of the sheer amount of discouragement that of comes power. within those places we must oh. learn this as a lesson that grace was some of these are small children she says i'm going I to go and see honored when the i king. saw some of these little children if running perish, around the crusade ground I do not perish. drive them the they are the next power. apostles they are the next Let evangelists me tell you this. they are the ones who will there stand in this stadium in someday when you will not see any boat you are going to have by the to time we fight them and jump on do that not forget and no matter how young you are the spirit the revelation at your door that the power of the Holy let us not Spirit make the mistake that the west is has made able now. not most only of them in the 60s the 70s and early lift. 80s their parents were Just the great evangelists power. and the wonderful the people of but they neglected Lord, their you children have spoken, they didn't I carry their you. children along i don't know they how thought they happen, would be young forever but in the name of jesus now, what those do you children want me to do that they refused Lord, to invest in satan came and going. invested in that generation I, I today perish, they are the leaders and now be the society has become a reflection of courage because life will intimidate you and it will cause fear fear in ministry fear in life fear of anything do not fight your children but you need the spirit do not fight your fail your, your young ones do not fight the failures let us in life does not give you guarantee for any no results Someone when you see people who have it. results let you me tell you especially in the say, kingdom I'm going to pay the much to more than just their belief and I their conviction about god but this was the stand. grace that was at work in them the spirit of power the spirit of power not just the anointing to heal the sick but it's god the courage the fortitude the capacity to stand and say bring any weight this is what was upon david when he, he stood before goliath it was not just the anointing to heal the sick no he stood before goliath and said who is this uncircumcised philistine because notice how goliath oppressed them he used fear he came and continued to use his size to oppress them and then a young boy comes with the spirit of power and looks at him and says who is this uncircumcised philistine then he now says am i a dog look at goliath talking now am i a dog that you come to me with sling and spheres and then he says well you may come to me with your bow and all of this but i come to you in the name of the lord god of israel the one you have defied then david now says mr man let me even tell you how i'm going to kill you not only that you are going to die this is what will happen i will first throw you on the ground then i will use your own sword and remove your head and give it to the birds the spirit of power there are many of you who have experienced this in the place of prayer and you did not know it was it that you begin to pray over something you are confused you don't know where the rent is going to come from the fear is eating you up suddenly while you are praying this grace begins to come on you and you stand up and begin to speak and act boldly the lord is my light and my salvation certain negative aspects of culture and you begin to make proclamations and stand at the gate of the you enemy and decree and today. declare that regardless of For what it is the word of god Zaria, will come to pass let me tell you this since fear is a spirit a strong that Islamic, means fear can you know, know affiliation 
and it can know those who should not so try again. Many institutions, any spirit the can talk, the college can know. Look at the Bible. The, the, federal, uh, the spirits in the madman in Gadara the, spoke the to Jesus. Because Have you come this to destroy us before our time? They are knowledgeable. They are not ignorant. They are not robots. That, that, that means when fear comes to you, it observes your response. When it sees the deficiency of power, respectfully. of a revelation of the love of God and of an enlightened mind, it is permitted to come in and destroy you. If we go to the grave without contributing our quota to build institutions within this place, listen. It is not a tell them thing. It's a tell you everyone. Times we have a collective role. Or an, the I'm first on my way institution is family. And some persons, sometimes I don't know them. The sometimes first I know institution them. They can is me family. Say, Apostle, Every arm robber comes from a family. A ghastly Everyone who is causing and trouble in society comes from a family. Don't so think I'm speaking bad against you. I just saw you dying. Please. When you make a covenant as a father, that I will not just give birth to children I cannot take care of. I will be responsible over my Manipulate you. Don't give back to children now? and hand when them When you hear that a loved one for you. dies, it does something to you. No. Fear will capitalize on it. The who is next? Because that loved one who Don't died was a Christian. Some that loved one who died was this and that. Or and some that. wealthy man to come Fear and build universities. Let's spirit. start with what we have. It is cheaper building families. The day you go to the hospital All and they tell you sorry, you, you thought you were Mother, AA. Father, you just discovered that you are SSO. Your life be the first From that day, of fear Jesus comes to the hospital too. As they are now seeing the result, it takes to the Tarok nation and walks on your mind while you are sleeping. Well says, begin to count. Let's assume now, you have 14 more days to live. I know there are families here and, and then it begins to help you We understand. You will That's why we are here will happen. However, what there must be a determination. All your goals and dreams before we'll a young man up. and a young woman gets married, so he has ask taken them, Where advantage you what do you have? Do you have money? Thank God for those, but what are your values? To what destroy are you believers to and make them children. irresponsible. Don't add trouble to it us. It looks like it's do a you spiritual know, do statement. Do you understand the principles but that, awareness, that make for Every faith. time you want to take a giant step, it comes and says, what is there? Jesus is on his way coming. And it's supposed to but look like a good know. thing. But because you have been threatened about then the coming of Jesus, that it represents judgment. And what even you, you, what will happen to you? And you are not productive until you I find went, out you are 70 years um, old. And nothing happened. We had quite a few visitations around the territory. spirit of fear and I saw has that destroyed a lot of people. The spirit of fear has stopped people from receiving. The spirit of fear has stopped people from rising. The spirit of fear has stopped people from daring a lot of things. Can I tell you something sincerely? But tonight, that in the name of Jesus, foreigners will not come and build we will conquer fear. Let me tell you something. One of the effects of fear is that it For makes you to forget the goodness and the benefits well. of god as god when fear comes you, upon you it you can erode the awareness god of you. everything Don't god has go done in your life he said bless the lord oh my soul listen very carefully come and change that bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name then he begins to list i hope you know that all the things he's listing are the things that cause fear who forgiveth your sins who healed your Diseases, we must who delivers life. you from this and Someone that shouts bless security. the Lord. That One means that please shout it, say security. You will not be able to say Lord, there thank can be you no because you are weird. Territory. Fear. If we do not invest in creating the you know, you've heard my story. And security is I used to be oppressed components. by demon spirits. And I thank God because I'm sp real demon spirits. And now the dangerous thing about the ability to see. Is that demons can also take advantage of it it's not everything you need to see are we together now and i will lie down on the bed and with my own eyes here these spirits just enter my room they don't open the door they don't do anything i shout jesus i shout everything i know to shout just like you have been shouting and I tell you, it doesn't do anything to them. You see, you are laughing because that's what you are secretly afraid of. Because Jesus is supposed to be like the highest factor that drives spirits. When you shout Jesus and they don't at least react.
I shouted Jesus 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 and these spirits they would come press my neck and I'm just watching I can struggle for hours do you know it got so bad that every time it was evening it would affect me I used to sleep at the edge of the bed if you like put the bed from this wall to that wall i will sleep at the edge do you know why so that when they begin to oppress me i will do my best and fight my way at least when i'm falling down what's whatever happens i can fall down and wake up yes it's true wicked spirits i remember the day the revelation of the power and the grace of God came upon me. I ran home. I didn't pray. I ran home and I stood outside and I begged them to come. I officially invited them. Fear. Fear. When you lose the ability to be afraid of evil, that statement, I will fear no evil. There is no limit to what your life can be when God grants you the grace to reject fear. The reason why many do not give is because of fear. Fear that there is insufficiency and they may never rise. The reason why many people keep running abroad and can smuggle their way through Chad, through Libya, move through the forest and the desert and almost die because they are getting to Europe is because they believe that one day Nigeria will pack up and everybody will kill everybody and the oil will finish or we are going to drink it or something will happen. Fear. The moment they announced recession in Nigeria, people who were not working started suffering. People who, who didn't have jobs, who were not supposed to be afraid, they were already like that since, but they received something. Fear just sat upon Nigeria. Recession. And people started going down and started giving reasons to say, look, you two, you know how times are. Recession. when men say that there is a casting down you that means you are not a man you are a man who, but something has lifted you beyond the realm of men when men shall say there is a casting down that you will say there is a lifting up is it not in your bible that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side listen to me very carefully he says but none shall hurt you only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked if you allow fear to get to you it will destroy you ladies listen to me they have told you the moment you get to 28 29 30 certain things start happening to your system you can believe it or they can tell you when you are 50 years old or 50 something you cannot be able to give birth again and your life will be destroyed the moment people celebrate 50 years they start deteriorating because they call it midlife crisis they expect something to go wrong when they are 60 years and nothing has happened in their life it sounds strange fear fear the spirit of fear there are many of you today who cannot rise to do certain things because fear has told you we are ordinary people we are weak people let me not embarrass myself let me not disgrace myself but god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love listen let me tell you this i pray for you that the love of god will truly be a revelation in your heart He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. I have loved you unashamedly with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. What shall separate us from the love of God? You, you have to know why Paul is teaching these things. What shall separate us? Then he begins to list all the things that you think can separate you 
from the love of god farming wars etc i say nay in all these things we are more than conquerors by the revelation of the love of god so when the devil tries to project fear the revelation of who god is listen and the fact that he loves me that the jealousy of god is an investment upon my life when you know this like you want to hurt a little child and he will run to his father you see some of these are little ones they run all around and with confidence they jump on you and they expect you to hold the bible said trust in the lord trust in the lord listen with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding the word trust is the word bata is the word that gives an expression of someone jumping hoping that the father will hold you to take away all the limitations and just throw yourself at god and say lord i know that you are able to hold me and while people are saying oh dear a hand that comes to protect you and that hand is called the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the love of god the love of god will not allow darkness eat you up the love of god will not allow you to be a shame and reproach to you and your family be aware of this you are god's investment his love is upon you it will give you an understanding you are not alone please listen to what i'm telling you because you will stand and you will confront battles where there is no human assistance but the awareness of the love of god i know that god loves me it's a revelation that i have i have gotten in a way that i'm grateful for the love of god the love of god the love of god the love of god furnished within you if there is one person god will favor on this earth is me i know it's because of his love i don't know how far between you and him but i know he has drawn me into the inner chamber of his love like the king tells esther come what do you want even up to half of my kingdom this is my mentality when i pray this is my mentality when i talk there is no fear that's why sometimes i can tell you ah there's someone outside there do you think it's just because i'm seeing a vision this is a risk you don't stand before the whole world and speak stupidly like that what if nothing happens and nothing happens again and nothing happens again and nothing happens again the love of god the love of god for we know that all things work together not for everybody not for every christian to them that love the lord and to those who are the called the called the called according to his purpose the revelation of the love of god is something that has consumed me you know sometimes when i sit down i say what's 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 that lady's song take it down for me let's let's shout that song jesus you love me too much oh too much oh too much oh listen to you is a song but god wants it to be a revelation what will you do if you suddenly knew that the jealousy of jesus is standing by you to protect you you think the love of god is a little issue until you see what has happened in your life as a result of lack of knowing it when Mukhtar came here with his wife when he held that lady he was happy standing protecting her and speaking and you could see the confidence in his love endorsed by a ring now whether you like her or not is no longer an issue the ring has demonstrated that this love is a lifetime commitment was it not the awareness of the love of the father of the prodigal son that gave him the courage to get up and return back home he was with pigs and for a while every time he thought of going back fear would keep him 
you see what fear does and then one time he said mm -mm, how many hired servants has my father and i'm here feeding with swine he said i know something about my father there is something i know about him no matter what we know how to settle ourselves i will arise and i will go to my father do you know while he was talking the father was already on his way coming the bible didn't say he went and met the father at home ah the father was saying no he's my son no matter what love love no matter i will still meet him and come and carry him and while he was coming afar off immediately he saw the father he gave him a hug and put a signet ring the love of god the love of god so when you see things in your life listen to me and you know that ah, the way things are now kai oh god this nigeria god you have already said this is a year of extraordinary what is happening then you rest in the fact that god what is mine that you are mindful of for you to know this you have to see a gentleman in love what is that girl that you are mindful of that they are talking to you you are not even hearing again how are you and you're ah, sorry ah, that's exactly what happens to god listen you are laughing but i need you to understand that means i am in his mind he's thinking right now what do i do for joshua selman how do i lift him oh i see all the attacks around his life but my love my love my love my love for him my love for him is the confidence i use when i minister to people i know his jealousy is an investment upon my life that he will protect with his blood do you know this about god so when somebody looks at you and says i will kill you the person doesn't know what he's saying you need to know who you will kill first nobody comes with any nonsense prophecy and scares me no no the love of god has created a vaccination against that rubbish oh apostle i just saw you dying oh apostle no 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 because many of us are we are victims of all kinds of speakings from people and they may not listen they may not necessarily be lying do you know your family has witchcraft do you know your family has this god can deliver you but the fact that you cannot even think that god can lift you every time i see people who can bless me i start rejoicing i know what god is going to do god i know what god will do i live a very happy life knowing that i can rest in his love the spirit of love the spirit of love the spirit of love hmm. elijah knew this when there was famine he didn't say god what about me how am i going to eat no god if you kill me who now prophesies over israel and god says for you i exempt you go to brook cherith i don't know whether you understand sowing or reaping but i'm going to make a bed because men will not agree to come and meet you so i will use an animal this is the revelation over my life i believe in the love of god over this ministry you see when you know god it doesn't look fair when god's love zooms towards you is a fearful thing it takes away fear from your life the fear of the future what will the future be like what will the future be like will i have children will they be well behaved your brain cannot carry that kind of load he says my yoke is easy fear can make you a laborer it can give you assignments that didn't come from god a lady of 18 years is already touching her womb all around hoping she'll be pregnant you can imagine that kind of thing by yourself you are sitting in front of the internet many things to browse the presence of god you just start browsing signs of cancer enter what do you think made you do that now please listen to what i'm telling you 
and every, you will find something there that you may have once your leg starts paining you ha, say sign that this and that you say ah that pain jesus you love me too much oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh, love, oh. It's a revelation. My father loves me too much, oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh, love, oh. Ah, Look at Jesus. He says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased listen listen you see the way we live our lives many times is a mockery on the love of god it shows that there is something about the love of god we do not know your atm gets missing and for that whole day you are moody it's not the atm is that your trust was in it and now that your atm has disappeared fear now comes what if somebody gets it and withdraws money how much is even there have you seen now fear fear you wake up in the night and for you forgot to close your door now it's good to close your door but it's fear that the speed you who has entered listen it's a terrible way to live and to deliver those who through fear have all their lifetime subject to bondage the moment people are about to retire they start you see people who were once confident they will now tell you ah how do i this life you know how this thing is now and what you fear comes upon you eventually in my life i don't think failure i truly am a winner you can wear life till you win it comes by a revelation of who god is you can you can wear situations and circumstances please listen to me i can never fail truly speaking truly speaking it's his love that keeps me conscious i know what he has put upon me and i know what it can do so when i tell you that if i pray for you you will be blessed it's not arrogance it is an awareness You're amazing. Listen. When you have this knowledge, please just walk with me. We are going to pray. Don't trivialize what you hear me share tonight. Please. Don't trivialize it. You will be surprised at the level of failure that comes to your life if you don't listen to what i'm telling you the awareness god's interest is in my life god's interest is in my life his reputation upon me is at stake and he will move all and sundry to see his purpose is birthed that way you enter your rest it's a sabbath that comes knowing you see it says my father walk hitherto i walk that means that there it is when it is when the father is walking and you are walking something is wrong as he's walking i am resting in the fact that my interest is protected the love of god the love of god when i think about the love of god fear there is no fear not fear of the future where This is, a, this, is, this is a powerful word. There is nothing that God has told me that I don't believe in because I know his love. I know what God can do. I have seen in earthly terms what a guy can do when he loves a lady. Pastor Alpha, I've seen what you can do because you love your wife. Pastor Femi, I've seen what you can do to mercy because you love her. These, these are human beings. Have you ever seen someone flog your child in school? He was wrong, go. Yet, you dragged that child and went to school and said, where is the teacher? Must you flog? You have to look for a way of defending your child. It's called love. 
you conquer fear when you are aware of the love of God if I hear that favor is coming this way I don't say Lord I hope it will reach me yeah yeah my prayer is for you that Lord when you finish with me let it at least touch them because if that favor comes I know I know this no is is a revelation my brothers and my sisters the love of God God loves me God loves me God loves me Joshua Selman the little children used to sing yes Jesus loves me we became adults and forgot the song and fear took over our lives Jesus loves me Jesus loves my future Jesus loves my destiny Jesus loves my results Jesus loves my longevity it is in his interest that I do well he said I will give you a new heart a new spirit all of those things he said for my name's sake my name's sake there is a word for it is called reputation I heard today that one of our ladies who is or was in the school of ministry that the lady I think she just collapsed or something and like a mental problem maybe like a bipolar problem and all of that the moment they spoke to me I don't know her but the fact the the fact that she's part of a family that i lead my love and my jealousy kicked in immediately when i got home i sent a text to one of our ladies i said so how much are the bills and who is there it's called love when some are trusting in horses and chariots you just stand there stranded and here comes that bridegroom the faithful bridegroom who is keeping my bride waiting have you not read that jealousy is the rage of a man you want to see an angry man touch his wife he may respect you and be nice but you just touch his wife when you are aware that you are the bride of Christ and fear comes was it not what Haman was trying to do to Esther? He was trying to put fear, I'm going to annihilate the Jews. He was even digging the gallows already. But Esther knew something about the king. And when she provoked his love, even apology brought him to trouble. You still want to rape my wife upon the fact that you have annoyed her. Have you not been told that you are the apple of his eyes? you come and try to touch my eyes listen to what i'm telling you i want you to end this fear thing once and for all in your life fear of failure where will help come from who will arise for me it's an insult listen in this ministry right now if you get up by god's grace you get up and say you come and meet me and say apostle i hope you have generator for the end of the service i i hope that uh, by tomorrow I, I hope this meeting there's miracle service on friday as just i hope you will not be embarrassed you see i will look at you and i will feel very sad because it's an insult so when you turn to god and say god so now who will help me and god says don't worry i said mm, tell me who because i i don't trust you there's something about you and god says you trusted your landlord you trusted your lecturer with five years of your life a guy came to you from somewhere like the bush and just two weeks of knowing him you trusted him with your heart and god says trust me with your destiny and fear says mm -mm. god has a track record of failing men be careful tread with god with caution you see that so you say god i'm i'm going to be with you but let me hold on first in case you fail let my uncle be a backup plan and god says me search my credibility search my credibility is why people don't get delivered is why people don't prosper many bad things happen to people because they do not understand the love of god today is kenny's birthday and yesterday when he told me about the birthday, I was tired after the session in the morning stroke afternoon. Immediately I saw him, I said, ah, get into the car. Let's go home. At least let me go and pray for you and all of that. Love. Love. What is the revelation of the blood of Jesus to you? You see, come Pastor Alpha. Look up, we're going to pray. Hold this phone. 
if i give you 10 naira to get this phone it means i love the phone more than the money is that true the respect is not for the money the respect is what i bought in exchange for the money so when you look at what the father bought with jesus that he used jesus as an atm card to pay for something so what is the name of that something he paid for that jesus was crying and say father i said jesus just finish this thing i i know we will, we will even if you're angry with me i will sort you out later but because of this man that i love and then some person will come with one prophecy and tell you a lot of nonsense and in five minutes you look at the love of god and say ah lord i always knew now every good and perfect gift comes from above from above from the father of lights in whom there is no variableness do you know what is variableness that means there is predictability to his integrity it is on this that we rest that god in heaven can look at me and i know that he loves me apostle where will the partners of this ministry come from i am only a bride watch the responsibility of my faithful husband he said husbands love your wives if a husband does not love his wife he's a sinner he's not just a bad person he's a sinner if you been evil know how to give good gifts i'm showing you how 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 we conquer fear know how to give good gifts how much more your heavenly father so when i go to god to pray i pray with confidence this is the confidence we have that whatever we ask in his name he heareth us why because he loves us the love of god is a powerful revelation and then lastly i will pray a sound mind let this mind be in you which was also in jesus christ that means there is a thinking there is a belief system that needs to be altered and adjusted if you do not sustain a superior understanding about god and about life you will be a failure forever There is a mentality that empowers fear in our lives. Many people fail before they start whatever they are trying to do. They have failed since. They knew it will not work. Their failure only confirmed what was there. Hallelujah. Every time God gives us something to do in this ministry, I know we will win. I know we will succeed. Every time God grants me the privilege to travel somewhere to minister, I know they will be blessed. all this complex that we carry around it may have come from our backgrounds but it was enforced and empowered by the spirit of fear spirit of fear so when god is telling you to rise you say, i cannot do I'm, I'm not i'm not good enough but tonight we have to conquer fear if you don't conquer fear you will never prosper if you don't conquer fear you will not be able to go through the valley of the shadow of death without fearing evil if you do not conquer fear you will never be able to rise to do the things that god wants you to do i believe in jesus he has given me the grace and the power the power of the holy spirit and i am I, the revelation of his love is an indoctrination i've been indoctrinated there is no revelation from the pit of hell that will alter the mindset that god loves me ask him you saw the shirt i wore in the morning when i say i belong to god it doesn't mean i'm born again it means i'm his property his jealousy is upon me it's a beware sign to principalities and powers beware this man has an owner 
you are not a car parked outside beware like you say beware there are dogs in this house meaning the owner of this house is responsible enough to protect it hallelujah so if god tells you i will give you a million naira tomorrow you don't just sit and say oh god i i know that you are able to no the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the koinonia the fellowship of the spirit let this remain with you the lord gave me this word to share as one of the things that must be conquered otherwise let me tell you my brothers and my sisters will keep talking and jumping up and down here and the moment we share the grace i hope you know that when god speaks to you i've taught you he doesn't speak to you like he's speaking to a man he speaks to you like he's speaking to himself so god says femi get ready um to finish the house by october and make sure there is a good car and while he's talking you are just standing there hoping that somebody will bless you with lunch money and god comes to speak to you is it not faith that even works by love do you know what that means most times we think it's just that faith works when you love people no faith works by the revelation of the love of the one who will make things to come to pass faith works by love faith works by love i know that if i open my mouth and i speak and i utter a word the spirit of the lord will honor that word why because of the love of god because of the love of god it's an indoctrination no matter where i go i cannot be ignored you ignore me you will pay for it it's not pride it's true you will pay for it because sooner or later you will find out that everything you are looking for the one who loves me is the one who gives it he will refer you back to mindset so that when you hear a testimony like i was just sitting down the lord said i should come and bless you you don't say me oh lord with all gratitude you have done it again oh thank you jesus i received this blessing i received this blessing the nation of israel knew that they were a people loved by god and they were bold when their enemies saw what god did they were afraid if they heard that the israelites were coming they would be afraid they said these people they are god they are god they are god when they started forgetting the love of god and started defying and doing all other things they became the ones afraid the lord is my light and my salvation what can man do to me the lord is my light he's my salvation of whom will i fear i found a cure for fear sincerely believe me when i tell you i don't fear no. i have seen god do things in this ministry do things in my life and do things in the life of people the revelation of his love i like to call it his jealousy when i just call it his love it doesn't carry that weight the word jealousy is very positive when i'm using it to god because it reminds me that i'm his bride it is a fearful thing for you to touch a man that god loves he will act as if he died for only him someone ready to pray tonight I pray that what I've shared tonight will really enter you the cure for fear listen if you think a job can cast out fear you are joking if you think a business can cast out fear you are joking if you think supplements can cast out fear of death you are joking if you think a a nice suv can cast out the fear of death you are joking if you think money in the bank account can cast out fear you are joking we live in a world where fear looms around the horizon 
everything is programmed to make you afraid but you rest in the fact that god has not given me the spirit of fear so if fear tries to come you know that somebody is offering something you need to reject you don't just reject by saying i reject fear you reject it by reminding yourself mm, i am strong in the lord and in the power of his might number two god loves me god loves me joshua selman god loves you when that revelation hits you then fear like darkness like smoke before the wind it just moves and it goes away i like you to open your mouth and begin to pray lord i'm tired of fear and what fear does lift your voice and pray Halaborande sala brokatishia. The fear of the future, the fear of marriage, the fear of children, the fear of raising children, the fear of paying bills, the fear of succeeding in ministry. Are you praying? I cause fear. I cause fear. I cause fear. I cause fear. Pray. He baranda salakaruda shede breast. Imbrakato zelekataria natashikatas. I cause fear. I cause fear. I cause fear. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Shelamanda rakato sabrede shalaba. Abalanda Bragada sete que de balada 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 bo. hallelujah hallelujah job chapter 3 verse 25 and 26 this is job's testimony read with me please one to read for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come to me next verse I was not in safety who told him hold on what was the testimony in job chapter 1 satan testified that have you not built a hedge of protection around him and job said i was not in safety keep the scripture there please neither had i rest neither was i quiet meaning i was not peaceful king james makes it look like yet trouble came it's supposed to be that that's what brought the trouble God has protected you, yet you said you are not protected. God has preserved you, yet you said you are not preserved. God has told you, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you an, an expected end. Yet you walk daily in fear. God has told you, have you not read that you will call and a nation will answer? it's not a parable what is a parable in the bible the bible will tell you it's a parable 
what is the fear for the lord knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble this is this is your bible when you carry this understanding from tonight my brothers and my sisters you know that you will never fail it's not just a jamboree pentecostal confession it's a settled reality i know this about god i know this about god what do you know about god that can protect and keep you in the days that come hallelujah your confidence please listen to me your confidence will have a lot to do with your courage your ability to conquer fear many of us here in ministry if you don't conquer fear you will never never be able to rise in ministry many of us here are trusting god for financial liftings if you put your eyes around the economy of nations they looked unto him and their faces were lightened it's in your bible gentiles will come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising it says that my gates will be continually open day and night they will not be short that i will receive the forces of the gentiles when he said this i believed him i believed him i believe him i don't know what you don't believe about god but tonight you are going to call fear by its name and curse it by the god of heaven i reject fear lift your voice and pray the fear of death the fear of accident pray ladies will i get a man that will marry me will i get a woman that will marry me i cause fear will i have responsible children will i ever have a house of my own hallelujah hallelujah matthew chapter 6 from verse 24 jesus was dealing with something we continue to ignore next verse therefore i say unto you take no thought the word there is don't fear don't worry it doesn't mean don't be responsible mm -mm. take no thought of your life worry what you shall eat nigerians listen what you shall drink nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment next verse the fowls of the air break a fundamental law because if you don't sow you should not reap but because god doesn't only love you he has come down to even love the birds he says they neither sow meaning they should not reap yet your heavenly father not their own your heavenly father extends the benevolence even to them are ye not much better than they next verse which of you by taking thought fear worry can add one cubit to his stature worry and fear does not do anything positive to you does it next verse please and why ye take thought for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not they violate the principle of diligence and productivity neither do they spin next verse and yet i say unto you my goodness that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these 30 wherefore 
if God so clothed the grass of the field, this is a revelation of his love now, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Next verse. Therefore, take no thought and don't go to the extent of verbalizing your fear by saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Look at this verse. For after these things do the Gentiles run after. For your heavenly father knows that ye have need of these things. Your heavenly father knows that if you stay in a rented apartment forever, it will affect your Christian life. Your heavenly father knows that if you do not smile and you are not in joy, it will affect your Christian life. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows that if ministry does not work for you, there will not be a platform. You will be discouraged. He knows. There is no temptation, the Bible says, but such as is common to man. He says, and with every temptation, God will make a way of escape. You are not the first to be challenged by poverty. To be challenged by, there will always be. The jealousy of God will make him manipulate a way and come through for you. Are we together? I'd like you to lift your voice and begin to speak everything you know God has said must happen to you and say, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. The sorrow that comes with worry. Gentlemen, pray. Stress and worry is destroying young people in our generation. There are people who have lost sleep because of fear. Lost sleep because of worry. It is the keeper of Israel that does not sleep nor slumber so that I can rest. Great things have I spoken of you, O Zion. Great things. Great things. He called me the head and not the tail, I believe. He called me above and not beneath, I believe. He called me the delight of nations. Bula and Hefziba, I believe. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I believe. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. I reject fear. I refuse to fear. The love of God shields me from fear. The power of God shields me from fear the mind of Christ shields me from fear hallelujah hallelujah listen many people you know when you hear me talk like this many people are apostles is because you are not looking for food to eat or this and that let me tell you this the Bible says to be carnally minded is death it's not will bring death it's already death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace when you allow your mind to become carnal sensual that's the realm of satan how will it come how will i see the rain how will i see the cloud but he said you may not see rain ah, you may not see wind yet the valley shall be filled who told you water must come from above doesn't the earth have water too when it was time for noah's flood water came from the sky water came from under who told you gold is only found under the earth when a fish brought gold That means what is not supposed to make sense can bring you gold and bless you and change your life. This is the God we are talking about. I know him more. I know what he can do. I know what he can do. I know what he can do. 
you are going to hold someone's hand we'll sing this song once and then we'll wrap up for tonight jesus you love me too much hallelujah when you look at pastor alpha's wife or a jimmy's wife or any of our gentlemen here if you see the way for instance he decorates his wife and you are offended is she the right person to talk to you go to the husband the wife is just a wife so he says i will walk a walk in your days i want to do something that even if it were told you yourself you will not believe that there are times that a husband can buy a gift for a wife and say ah, is this not too much only where did you get the money say i've been saving this to prove something to you there are certain testimonies let me tell you that some of you are going to enter into that you will even be afraid of sharing because those who hear it will think you are lying it's true this is not motivation please listen to me i'm speaking to you by the spirit ah. when a man's ways pleases the lord that he can make even his enemies look at this abimelech took the wife of abraham abraham lied and he took the wife and wanted to lie with the wife and god said if you do this abraham hold on he's touching me if you touch this man's wife listen there are men who receive answers even before they call the moment god is on a surveillance of their life he's jealous he will be distracted by the worship in heaven and come back again the love will not allow him leave you listen king nebuchadnezzar loved daniel so much that when they now put him in a position where he had to punish daniel he could not sleep in the night by the morning he went himself oh daniel are you still alive has your god been able to deliver you a king cannot sleep because someone is in trouble that means there is someone in this country and somewhere listen was it not because of god's love for esther and mordecai the king sat down and he could not sleep he was rolling from left to right and he got up he said bring me the chronicles out of all the people that did nice things when he came to mordecai he said this man what has been done who is in the chamber Haman came he said what should be done Hi. this god bar my brothers and my sisters when you believe god and get fear out of your life you will stand in shock as you see god give you prepared blessings levels of liftings that god will bring you you will look left and right you will not know what you are doing there and say lord i shouldn't be here and he says i brought you there i brought you there i brought you there by my spirit i brought you there please i like you to lift your voice even if this is for the last time again destroy the spirit of fear and the bondage that it has put upon your life the bondage it has subjected you to i will prosper even in nigeria i will prosper in the name of jesus christ everything that proceeds from me succeeds everything that proceeds from me succeeds No fear, no fear, 
I reject the bondage of fear. I reject the bondage of fear. My mind is free from fear. My life is free from fear. Financial fear. Marital fear. Parenting fear. Career fear. Business fear. Ministry fear. Promotion fear. Advancement fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The next time fear comes to you, don't just say, I cast you. Suddenly remember you are a woman who is married. Whether you are a male or female, everybody is a bride in the realm of the spirit. Remember who paid your dowry. Remember the price. You talk about expensive dowry, ask Jesus. Ask the father. Your own dowry, you bought cow and yam. You didn't die for your wife. Something else died. Jesus didn't say I would die for you. He died for you. And purchased you. What can separate us? The only thing that can separate you is so anything that can die for you too. Can sickness die for you? Can failure die for you? You will never find me putting my hand on my chin by the window or by the bed breathing life. No. 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 Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Why should I walk? Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Why should I fear? One more time. Why should I fear? Why should I fear? Listen, I'd like you to square your shoulder and walk boldly through life. Boldly through life. Don't walk around like somebody who is at the mercy of situations and circumstances. If you don't have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your marriage. Hallelujah. It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatsoever he doeth prospers father i declare in the name that is above all names that anyone here suffering under any kind of the manipulation of the spirit of fear be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Whether it is fear because of the class of degree you finished with, fear because of your tribe, fear because of your past, fear because of those you don't have that you think are support. I cast that spirit from your life now. I decree and I declare the bondage and the chain that has come upon your mind and your life as a result of fear. Let it be loosed now from your life. Adam, where are thou? 
I heard thy voice but I hid because I was naked fear right in the garden fear I had your voice to bless me but I hid because I thought you will destroy me I decree that the boldness that comes from knowing you are loved by the father may that boldness rest upon you now the revelation of the love of God that that must indoctrinate you into believing you cannot fail may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare unto you I don't care how many times you have failed by this revelation I empower you to excel may you become the desire of men may you become the desire of nations that every time men are looking for someone to bless may your face come in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that whatever the obstacle is that is making you fear is not enough to free you from the spirit of fear we also cause that barrier in the name of Jesus Christ say I refuse to fear say it I refuse to fear this is the message for tonight take it back home pray yes. we are going to round up but carry this mentality I will fear no evil no I will fear no evil reject it reject fear reject fear you know you are not good enough reject it I will fear no evil do you know you are in the valley of the shadow of death I will still fear no evil why for thou art with me hallelujah they grow from strength to strength as many as appear before him in Zion they grow from strength to strength strength to strength they grow from strength to strength as many as appear before him in Zion Lord we give you praise Lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah father we ask you to do something remarkable in our lives tonight expose us to the truth of your word and let the entrance of your word bring light unto us and even understanding we give you praise tonight let the name of the lord be exalted in the name of jesus christ please walk around to 10 15 people just greet them tell them it's good to see you and then we'll get to the business of the night Blessed be the name of the Lord. The person you may be ignoring may be your destiny helper. If I were you, I would do it again with every sense of honor and seriousness. Come on now, go ahead. Implicate yourself for good. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Please be seated. Great are you, Lord. Great. Great are you, Lord. 
While seated, just lift your hands and worship Him. Great are you, Lord. Strong and mighty in our midst. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Let's sing it one more time. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray tonight, so um, I'd like you to prepare your heart. Let me invite all those who are leaving from tomorrow for NYSC. Please come out quickly. Come and receive grace. Celebrate them and fresh grace. We are proud of you. We are proud of what God is doing. Celebrate them, Koinonia. This is the work of God. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 6. Verse 6. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongue from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Verse 8, and this is the call that God is giving every one of you. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Send me. Hallelujah. He said, Here am I. Send me. Father, in the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands upon your people. You have kept them. And David said, The God who gave the bear, the God who gave the lion, he will also give this uncircumcised Philistine. There is a hand that lifted you, it will uphold you till the end, and you will not be afraid. This is a prophetic word to you. The Lord is your light, and he's the light of your life. You should not be afraid. The hand that guided you will uphold you till the end. You will not be afraid. For the grace that brought you through will uphold you till the end and you will not be afraid. There is a voice that speaks for you. It will uphold you till the end. You will not be afraid. There is a seal that separates you. It will uphold you till the end. You will not be afraid. And you will go 
from faith to faith, from glory to glory, I prophesy to you, and you will go from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And you forever be chasing after him. You be chasing after him all the days of your life. You forever be chasing after him. You be chasing after him. When it was time for David to face Goliath, Saul was so intimidated by the size of David, he said, I have extra weapons to give you. And David said, no, I was not taught with these weapons. It was not the javelin and all of this. There, there, there was a secret arsenal. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, that which you have been given is enough to make you great. Men will offer you all kinds of options. Anything that was not part of the tool for your training is not qualified to be with you in the day of battle. We want to pray. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Many have come and failed woefully. But there is a hand that can take a man and sustain him. And Abraham gave Melchizedek a tent of all and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth the prophet said I have been instructed to bless and this I have done and it cannot be reversed in the name that is above all names may you be distinguished everywhere you go May there be an anointing upon your life that separates you out of the crowd. Because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Let God, even your God, may he anoint you with an oil of gladness that makes you always above your fellows. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will receive the help of God. Where your strength fails, may the anointing upon you speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore. I send a prophetic word ahead of you that everything that wants to take you for a prey, let there be a prophecy that says restore. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. I declare that as a result of the blessing of the Lord upon you, you become incorruptible. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. I decree and I declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will do much for the kingdom. You will do much for the kingdom. Where there is no voice to speak for you, may you hear a voice from heaven that says, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, and may he command the world to hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life. The Bible says, See, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. I pray that every territory you enter, those powers in those territories remain subject to you forever. Because the Bible says, let every soul be subject to higher powers. And I speak over your life in the name that is above all names. Every devil of darkness submits to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says you shall not be afraid of the arrow that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence. 
and that which wasted at noonday. He said, a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side, but none shall harm you. With your eyes shall you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. I declare that you are preserved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For his name is unto you a strong tower and you will run and find refuge. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may you suck honey out of the rock and may your feet be honored and adorned with butter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Let your hand be strengthened by the Lord Most High. May the Lord amplify your efforts. He told Abraham, lift up your eyes and see. He said, for as far as your eyes can see, I have given it unto you. I declare, although you will go to a foreign land, I speak to the earth of that territory to bring out his good and give to you. He said, I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. Isaiah 48 says that I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit. I command that these hands will profit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just like Daniel, through the dispensation of three kings, he was exalted. May you be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I activate breakthrough in your life through the ministry of destiny helpers. Whoever needs to hold your hands to go to the next level, may my God bring them into your life. And the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever needs to send for you. I prophesy in the name that is above all names. I activate the ministry of the wine pressers and the bakers. May they recommend you in high places. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? Where your qualification cannot take you. Like Mephibosheth, may you still sit and dine with kings. The Bible says, Gentiles shall come to your light and their kings to the brightness of your rising. It said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. The Bible says, where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you, you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not backslide, you will not lose this that you For the Bible says, they that be planted in the house of God, they will flourish in the courts of our God. He said, even in old age, they will be fat and flourishing. You will be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water. When others are waiting for rainy season, you are planted by a permanent source of supply. And the Bible says, as a result, you will yield its fruit in season and its leaf will not wither. Whatever he doeth prospers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the mark of God be upon you. That everyone that sees you will know that God is with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I strengthen your hands. May God trust you with wealth. May God trust you with grace. May God trust you with leadership. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we cause death over your life. That which terminates the life of people prematurely. You are separated from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless you. Let the favor and the grace upon this house go with you. Any door that has opened for this house. May it open for you. In the name of Jesus. When God blesses us here. May he bless you wherever you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go and do mighty things for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, Koinonia, celebrate them. Go and do great things for the kingdom. And let us hear of the exploits you are doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Ba 
Chapter 15. Tonight is a powerful time in the spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The Bible says, That which I speak to you, I declare to you in the secret place. He said, Declare thou upon the mountain top. 1 Corinthians 15. From verse 54. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54. Everyone look up. Let's just read. So when this corruptible shall have put on him corruption, and this mortal shall put up immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Verse 55. Can we read it together? One to read. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Tonight we are challenging the spirit of death. I will share with you what the Lord revealed to me. We are going to pray. Are you getting my point now? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. It is a tragedy for a believer not to be able to read the signs of the world and see what is happening. If we lack the perception, the ability to align with what the Spirit is doing, we can cut short our lives without knowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh death, where is your sting? No grave. Where is your victory? Tonight I'm teaching very briefly on victory over the spirit of death. And then we are going to pray. We have quite some prayers to do. I don't, we are not going to stay long. But we are going to pray. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes tonight. Open my eyes. Open our eyes, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the responsibilities of a true apostolic ministry is not just to change people, but to be able to bring territories under the obedience of the Lordship of Christ. Are you getting my point now? A true apostolic ministry has a mandate to become a voice, not just to people, but to speak over territories and enforce obedience to the Word of God, to the ways of the Spirit. Let me show you something. Isaiah 42 
This is what happens when any territory lacks a true apostolic voice. And I'm not just talking about people who call apostles, this apostle, that. No. I'm talking of certain people that truly have been elected by grace. When a territory lacks true apostolic voices that can be able to speak and command things to comply. 42 verse 22. Let's read 21 and 22. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of themselves snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are taken for a prey and none delivered them. For a spoil and there is no voice that proclaims restore. It says these people are captured. They are taken for a prey. And for as long as there is no voice that can challenge darkness and say restore, those people will remain in captivity. Tonight we have come to pray. We have come to speak and say restore. It says they are taken for a prey and there is none that is able to deliver them. They are taken for a spoil. You know what a spoil is? The proceeds of war. The seal of victory in a war. That every time you spoil a territory, you take the kings and their gold and their treasure. You take it back. You cut the head of the king and hang it and take it as a symbol of your victory. They are called spoils of war. And the Bible says when there are no apostolic voices in territories, when men are kept in prison houses, when they are taken for a prey, there is none that cries deliverance unto them. It says, and when they are taken for a spoil, there is none that says, restore. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Before we talk about death, let me challenge you a little. Hold on. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. The word of God can be trusted. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you do not believe the word of God, you are absolutely disadvantaged in this system. Many of us want to trust the word of God, but we keep asking ourselves, what is the guarantee that this word will not fail me? Because we are used to men failing us. We are used to systems failing us. And as a result of that, it becomes difficult. Especially in the face of all of the things that happen. There's death everywhere. Unrest, insurgency and violence. Sicknesses and pestilence and all of these things. But Solomon said there is nothing that is new under the sun. Meaning it has happened before. Recession has happened before. Are you getting my point? War and crime and killing and wickedness the reign of evil has happened before everything that happens now has happened before and the bible says forever O lord thy word is settled let me just use a few minutes to help us 
and strengthen our assurance about the immutability of the word of God. Can we look at that just for a few minutes? You need to trust God's word. This is the sure foundation for faith. Not just faith that has to do with just talking, talking. No, 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 no. no. Authentic Bible faith that is able to produce results. Let's look at the scripture. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13. We'll just rush. I'm talking about death, but as I began to prepare for this, God put it in my heart again and again. That... Many people are beginning to have a second thought about the word of God. Especially in light of the fact that certain ills and evil seems to be prevailing unhindered. Hallelujah. And so many people are beginning to ask themselves, is the word of God really reliable? Can it really bail me in death? Can it bail me under wicked conditions? I hear the chains falling. First Thessalonians 2 verse 13. We have to be very fast. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Because when we received what? The word of God which he had of us. We received it not as the word of men. But as it is in truth. The word of God. Which effectually worketh also in you. Not that as you that believe. We received it not, although it was taught by a man, it was taught by a minister, but we received it not just as a word of a man, we received it in truth that this is the word of God. Hallelujah. Do you believe that the word of God is able to deliver, to save, to bless? Let's talk about this word of God for a few minutes. Psalm 33 verse 6. I wrote down a few scriptures to just encourage us. Can we really trust in the word of God? Can I stake my life on the word of God? How far can I go with the word of God? Can it stop me from dying? Can it stop me from pestilence and wickedness? By the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. It says the heavens were created. They were framed out of the word of God. The Bible declares in John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 that everything we see in the universe came from God. John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. It says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Right? And the word was God. He said he was with God in the beginning. Verse 2. And the same was with God in the beginning. Verse 3 now. He says, and how many things? How many things? All things were made by him. That word. And without him was not anything made. That means without it, nothing can be made in your life. Without the word. All things were made by the word of God. Hebrews 11 verse 3. Don't turn there. It says through faith we understand. We were not there but by faith we were told by the Holy Ghost. That the walls were framed by the word of God. The Bible says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which appear. In other words, these material things. The unit of them is the word of God. Not just atoms and molecules. Everything in the universe was framed by the word of God. Hebrews 1 verse 3. One of my most powerful scriptures about the word of God. The Bible says he upholds all things. Hebrews what? Am I right? Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of the person. And upholding all things by what? By the word of his power. Watch this. It's one thing to manufacture this. But it's another thing to keep it standing. The Bible says the word of God did not just bring it into existence. The word of God is the factor that keeps it moving. 
He upholds everything. Everything. The sun, the moon, balancing the equilibrium of nature is all balanced by the word of his power. So he upholds your life not by circumstances that happen but by the word of his power. The Bible says all things. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Psalm 89 verse 34. Very powerful scripture. Psalm 89 verse 34. Is the word of God reliable? What is the guarantee behind the word of God? Everyone read. One to read. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. This is God speaking. He said, my covenant, I will not break it. I will not alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Oh, hallelujah. Gives us confidence. Gives us confidence. Gives us confidence. My covenant will I not break. Men can do all of this, but I have, I have entered a covenant with myself because there is no man greater than me. So I entered a covenant with myself and I will not break it. I will not alter the thing that has gone forth. God will not break his word, brothers and sisters. You must be assured of this. It is the guarantee that helps us to trust the word. God cannot lie. Numbers 23 verse 19. Numbers 23 verse 19. Powerful scripture. Very, very, very powerful scripture. Numbers 23. Everyone read. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? He said, God is not a man. That means it's okay when men tell lies. It's part of their predicament. But God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should change his mind over what he has spoken concerning your life. Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 16 to 18. The last scripture. I just want to encourage us tonight. Because you see, sometimes many of us really think and we can be tempted to think that believers are just faking these things. It really doesn't work. It's just that people are trying and let's see how far it goes. Hebrews 6 from verse 16. For men verily swear by the greater and an oath of confirmation is to them an end of strife. Next verse. Wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto who? Us. According to Galatians 2.29. 3.29 says, And if ye be Christ, then are ye what? Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So he said, Willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of the promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath. Next verse. That by two immutable things, which it was impossible. Do you know what impossible means? Impossible means if by mistake God calls this guy a woman, he must change to a woman because God cannot lie. It's not that he does not. Even if he speaks by mistake. That was why when Balaam, listen, listen. When the prophet was called to go and curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. I have already spoken it. I cannot take it back again. When Esau came and said, Is there no blessing left? Isaac said, It's too late. Something has left me because I was representing God. What is it about? Can you not just say, Okay, son, I bless you. What was he talking about? He said, Everything that is there, I have given it. So where is the blessing? Is it, a, is it just that he died on his son? That another person comes to say, please bless me. He says it's too late. He was not just talking of, I bless you, I bless you. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. 
Don't give up on God Cause He will give up on you He's able Listen, let me tell you something about God Every time God wants to speak The first thing He examines is His ability Whether He can do it or not God will never say anything He cannot do it's only men that talk can say I'll build you a house tomorrow in the afternoon come and collect the key of the house that's a man talking but when God speaks that was why when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was speaking as an oracle and the one who the king leaned on said are you kidding because he thought God was a man and he said really you will see it but you will never eat of it Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us. If we think God is playing pranks with us and God is joking, have you read in this Bible that hailstones came from heaven? Have you read from this Bible that lepers, four lepers were running and they had the sound, it was a multiplied effect. Have you heard that people entered fire and it did not destroy them? Question. It's not just yes. Do you believe? Because the Bible says Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. I'm about to teach on something very powerful. Very briefly and then we'll pray. But it's going to be a waste if you think God is playing games with you. I know that God is too serious. To allow Jesus Christ die on the cross? Is that a joke? The Bible says, He that did not spare his only son, but offered him freely, shall he not with him give us what? All things, not some things. Say, I believe the word of God. See, this is the, this is the true foundation of faith that lasts. Not this emotionalism that people are doing in the body of Christ. This is the foundation of true faith. Hallelujah. I had a vision in the course of the week. And I saw the map of Africa. And all of a sudden, I saw like a serpent. And it was moving across it. And the Lord told me, I had that, this scripture. They are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Hallelujah. When God shows me things like this, it's because He wants us to act. Hallelujah. And then the Lord began to tell me how that death looms across the continent of Africa and even in the nation of Nigeria. It, uh, listen, 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 listen. There is death, there is the event of death that the Bible calls sleeping. Is that true? We just call it sleeping. That's not what I'm talking about. Because according to scripture, those who sleep, those who die in Christ, Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die. He was not talking about oppression of the spirit of death. Well, that's why I, did, I didn't write victory over death. Because I want you to understand what I'm sharing. Victory over the spirit of death. Say amen. Immediately I saw this. I said, ah... Is because of something very, very prophetic that God is doing in our nation. I've been announcing this all through different meetings and different conferences. And if this death is not stayed, there will be many casualties. But tonight, my goal is to demystify this thing called death. Because I tell you, when the Lord, in this vision that the Lord was showing me, I could feel fear. Believers have been captured by the spirit of fear. Pastors, leaders, apostles, prophets. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restored. Hallelujah. Said these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, against Jerusalem. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. Hallelujah. Is someone getting what I'm saying now? The spirit of death. He said, Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? The first thing I want you to know about the spirit of death is that it is a spirit. 
it is a demon spirit. Please, brothers and sisters, don't let anyone confuse you. Look up, please. Look up. Many of us here have lost loved ones. Some of them have actually gone resting. It was their due season. It was their time. But can I tell you something? There are many people whose exit out of this earth realm is as a result of being victims of the claws and the pangs of death. And we must, we must contend and refuse. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is very important. When the Lord showed me this vision, I was very, very touched. And I knew that God wanted us to begin to speak and to open the body of Christ to the revelation that will sustain them in power. And now, I'm not one person who likes talking and announcing miracles and all of that. I like the things to happen and let the people just hear by themselves. But something happened very striking in the course of the week. A lady was in ICU. We hope that when she's done, she will come to testify. Hallelujah. And the lady was under some heavy gadgets and all of that. And then eventually she gave up the ghost. When she died, they were calling me, calling me and said, this lady had died. Everything was over. It was packed up. And then I told the lady that was talking to me, listen please. I told her, I said, put the phone in the dead lady's ears. Just make contact with her ears. And she put the phone and I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I bring back her spirit to her body. Nothing happened right away. We off the phone. Brothers and sisters, this is verified. It happened in Asokoro just a few days ago. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, from nowhere, this girl sneezed back to life and started, when she sneezed, listen, 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 that's not even the testimony. When she sneezed back to life, after some hours, she started shouting my name in the hospital. And she was shouting and she asked them to, she said, why did you stop me? This was her testimony, listen. She said, when she was going to the gate, she just found herself in a place. Of course, for those of you who have read Divine Revelation books, you know. And she saw several people coming from the earth realm. And it was her time and she was going. Approaching and someone was, it's like people were going to the gates, you know. The pearly gates that the Bible talks about. And while she was there, she could hear from the earth that they are praying. It's like people were praying, different people. And then she said, the moment she was there, the next thing she had a loud shout and it was my voice. I was called, it was like a magnetic force. It was pulling her back and she was saying, no, I don't want to go back. And then the angel, she would enter the gate and the angel said, can you not hear that he's calling you? We cannot allow you to come. Listen, this is a truth. She's going to come here and testify. That can you not hear? And then he told her that it's not your time. Return back. And truly, when she spoke, it was the exact time that I was praying for her. Hallelujah. This girl, listen, that's not even the testimony. She, she came back to life with such a dramatic presence she was blasting in tongues when the nurse and the doctors came the power of god came upon the nurse instantly right there listen the doctor was so intimidated he left and the nurse was there the, the lady who was talking with her called and said i want to give my life to christ this lady was speaking utterly mysteries because she came back with an experience i mean her bed was vibrating she was vibrating I sent the text to a few of the leaders. This is how you know that. I, for me, it was a confirmation. The, the goal is not, okay, dead, raised, and all of that. Thank God for all of those things. But for me, it was a confirmation. And then guess what happened? The lady said, one of the doctors came and looked at her. And he said, be careful. And then when she was sleeping in the night, one of the doctors came to her in the spirit to kill her in the hospital are you getting my point now and then she began to pray and then in the morning she came and confronted them and said listen you have not seen anything yet the lady that put her ears huh, that put the phone in the ear of the dead girl was just going to get brief bridges and return and a car from their back just smashed that girl and i heard she died in the afternoon can you imagine 
Are you seeing that evil is real? For standing to make sure somebody did not die. Our hospitals have now become occultic places. Nina Yesune Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Baya Nina Yesune Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Baya Nasa Haluna Akan Keken Noma Bazan Koma Nasa In my life, death has tried me many times. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't you think I'm just talking nonsense? From birth, the devil wanted to take my life. I didn't have the privilege of enjoying breast milk to start with. Let's even start from that one. Praise God. I've been diagnosed of all sorts of things. And I've seen the hand of God. Are you getting my point? I have met with armed robbers on the way. Car has jammed me once. So don't think I'm just talking rubbish. Death is a spirit. Tonight, we will rest this issue of death once and for all. Rome, Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6. What is this mysterious phenomenon called death that can scare any man, scares the rich, scares the poor? Accidents, infirmities, incurable diseases, acts of wickedness and terrorism, all kinds of things that just brutally exit people out of this earth. Is there a way out? Revelations. Verse 8. Verse 7. Let's start from verse 7. Verse 7. Please read. And when he had opened the fourth seal, these were the, the riders upon the four horse. Are you getting my point? I heard the voice of the first beat and he said what? Come and see. Next verse please. And I looked and I behold and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was what? So this mysterious spirit that has been responsible for the premature exiting of people is not just a phenomenon the Bible tells us that he's a real spirit. He sits upon a horse and he does not walk alone. Hell followed him. I told you hell is a spirit. Are you seeing it there in your Bible? <laughs> hmm. And power was given unto them over a fourth part of the earth. So how does death manifest? It kills with what? Are you seeing now? Sword is the manifestation of that spirit. And he uses a word again. Hunger. It is still the same spirit. And number three. What you now call death. He named the event after himself. And then the fourth part he said. And with the beasts. You know who the beasts are? In the earth. He's not just talking of wild animals. This is the terrorism and all of these things we call. He said, and with the beasts of the earth. They are all the manifestation of how this spirit operates. Are you getting my point now? Remember, Paul was saying he was confronted by beasts and wild animals. Right? He, didn't, he said, although he was not just talking of literal animals. He meant these, those who were opposing 
the cause of Christ. And so he said, this is how this spirit, he sits upon a horse and sends all of these things as envoys. Hunger. The sword. Manifestations of beasts and everything. But the Bible says he sat upon a pale horse and his name is what? Death. You must understand that death is a spirit. Brothers and sisters, accidents, incurable diseases, all of these devilish, dangerous things, as common as they look, they are the vehicles through which the spirit operates. Please get this. I know that many of us, some of us have buried our loved ones, some of us have been victims of all of these things. Don't worry. Just listen to the word of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please understand that nothing just happens in this realm. If you can believe this, this is your first deliverance tonight. Nothing. A car does not just jam people, brothers and sisters. At every given point in a man's life, he's been influenced by a spirit. There is nothing like neutral. Please hear me. You are either under the influence of the spirit of God or some influence of demon spirit. Is someone getting what I'm saying? When a man says he's an atheist, for instance, that in itself is a manifestation of the spirit of deception. Hallelujah. Everybody shouted, nothing just happens. Say it again, nothing just happens. Jesus was giving us an interesting parable. And he said, while men slept, right? While men slept, he said something happened. An enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and left. So that you lie down to sleep, fine and sound. And then by morning you wake up with a lump. Question, in how many hours did the lump just get up? What sponsored it that it grew more than the normal growth of the body? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now the Ebola virus and all those devilish things manufactured and fabricated from hell. Right? This is not the first time that devilish virus is coming to the earth. It had come during John Lake's time and John Lake stamped it to his feet and it went back and he says, let's try again. After many years, and let's see whether there are still ambassadors. I tell you the truth, there are still ambassadors. John Lake, that was the plague that was killing people. And John Lake said, what, what in the world is this? Let's go to the microscope. And he ended that issue once and for all. The earth is becoming more interesting. Are you getting my point? The earth is becoming more interesting because there is, there is an open confrontation of darkness. The Bible says kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. But it is they that know their God. They shall be strong. Not they that have heard about him. Not they that preach him. They that have paid the price to know their God. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So death is a spirit. Very quickly. Is there a way out. Of the grip of this devil. And this spirit. That's what tries to come to take. Many people's life in the night. Many people. Have you wondered. Excuse me. Have you wondered why people die in the night. Have you wondered why women make loose children in the night. Why not in the day. The mystery of the night. Hallelujah. And I tell you, there is a visitation of the spirit of death over the nation of Nigeria. I know it. I have seen it. It's looming across territories. Mysterious accidents. Mysterious rage and violence. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and there is no voice. We are busy trying to raise money in our churches. We are trying to buy suits. The devil has distracted us, men of God. 
we are trying to buy new cars and the devil tells the demons keep distracting them while death keeps wiping people and for as long as it has not touched us this is the same spirit that manifested in the days of Esther Esther was enjoying in the palace she did not know that God took her to the palace so that she will be a voice that will cry restore she was the apostolic voice in that dispensation and the Bible says when Mordecai who was a watchman sitting by the gates he said I will stand upon my watch Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower so that I will see what the Lord will say there are no watchmen again in this country we have lost the art of sensitivity we have lost it to food we have eaten the food of idols and the king's meat a little sleep the bible says a little slumber a little folding of the hands and poverty comes upon you like an armed bandit this is what has happened to the church we have been stripped and robbed and we have been distracted because of the bounty i believe in prosperity but not at the expense of that which the spirit of god is doing for as long as we are in our various churches and cathedrals and we feel we are secured and there are there are many men of god who do not believe in the bible it's just that they have a lot of security and they don't go around anyhow right but there are so many people who are dying who have stood face to face and they applied the messages that we preach and it didn't work and they died and we keep saying don't worry who is deceiving who there's got to be something authentic are you hearing what i'm saying why will i not talk of faith and courage when there are all kinds of bodyguards following and all kinds of security people and your car is a bulletproof car who will not have faith under that circumstance and your flight is a private one and everything listen 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 to me listen to me god will judge any man of god and any pastor who does not commit himself to teach believers truth right and to stand in the place of intercession and prayer and to shout restore it's not only about collecting the tithe of god's people and telling them so seeds and do this and then the moment they keep dying like chickens the bible says they are taken for a prey and there is no voice to say restore is someone hearing what i'm saying death is a spirit i like everybody to say it. death is a spirit say it again death is a spirit if you know that death is a spirit you will know that it's not a mysterious phenomenon that just comes listen I travel all the time. I have, I have, I have in my little life. I don't know. Only God will tell. Only when we get to heaven. That I will have the privilege of seeing the amount of poisons I have eaten in my life. One. Two. Only God knows the enchanters that speak spells every day concerning my life. You don't know? You want to be a man of God? You make impact and think the devil will fold his arms to watch. Never forget praying for one lady one time during Koinonia, um, during the counseling. And, and, and the spirit just shouted and said, Joshua, you, you. You know, just warning and all of that. Day and night, brothers and sisters, there are enchantments against the people of God and so if you do not know where you stand one outing you can leave and not return again but let me tell you something the Bible says the first Adam was made a quickening soul but the second Adam has been made not a life giving spirit not a life possessing spirit you have so much of that life it is within your power to dispense it we are going to pray hallelujah how do you enforce your victory over this spirit of death especially in this day and age please write it down there are principles it doesn't happen by magic victory over the spirit of death number one realize that in christ if you are born
born again and you have given your heart to Jesus Christ genuinely, the Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 1 that we are above. Everybody say, I'm above. I don't know how to make you believe it, but say, I am above. Say it again, I am above. It's a spiritual location. Ephesians 2 verse 1. So realize that you are from above. Hallelujah. It says, and you are sick, quickened, who were dead in your trespasses and sins. Verse 2. Wherein in time past, this and that and that and that, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Verse 3. Okay, let's, let's just run. Look for that part that says we have been exalted above. That's why I'm looking for. Verse what? 6. Six, please. Let's just run down. Let's save time. And he had raised who? Everybody say us. That means not just Christ alone. The Bible says in the curse we identified with him. Is that true? By the mystery of the Holy Communion. Is that true? We entered into him. And so because we partook of the sufferings of Christ, we also partake of the glory that follows. Are you getting my point now? And the Bible says, when he was raised up, we were raised up together with him. And he has made us to what? Sit in heavenly places. That's an exact spiritual location. Next verse. Ephesians 1. Everybody say, I've been raised up with Christ. And I'm seated with him. Far above. Say it again, far above. Far above accidents. Far above death. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, say it too. Far above accidents. Far above terrorism. Far above death. Far above wickedness. Hallelujah. Yes, I believe this with all my heart. I'm going to show you a powerful scripture when we're ready to pray. He said, which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Ah, uh, is that it? Anyway, let's, let's save time. 21. Oh, yes. Far above what? Principalities. How many of them? And power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, because there are names in other worlds too that help people in this world. So he said, every name, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Say, I'm far above. Oh, hallelujah, I'm far above. Far above every devil. Far above every enchantment. Every act of witchcraft. Just pray it in one minute. I'm far above. I'm far above. I don't live by the sword. I won't die by the sword. I'm far above. Just pray in one minute and we'll sit down and continue. Mambra take parada balada. No, not a victim of accident. No, not a victim of bomb blast. By the mighty hand of God. Shake it baba. Shake out fear from your life. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from out of my mouth. I'm far above. Far above. In the name of Jesus. Far above thrones. Far above covens. Far above witchcraft. The Bible says it. I believe it. Jesus is Lord of my life. This word is true in my life. I'm far above. I don't doubt it. I'm far above. I'm far above. Hallelujah. So that's the first revelation you must have. If you must conquer this spirit of death. I'm far above. Oh, hallelujah. Let them cast their spells. Far above. Far above. 
make all the enchantments i will go out and come back safe i'm far above in the mighty name of jesus i am far above man take a labor far above death is a rider upon a horse but i am far above hallelujah number two <laughs> hebrews chapter 2 from verse 9 then we move to 14 and 15 let me show you something powerful brothers and sisters when a thing is a mystery in your life it can confuse you but when you unlock the mysteries there is no confusion there again poverty was once as dangerous as death until men found out that there is an exact formula and today they teach it with audacity is because many people have not studied the concept of death and life and they have not been able to prove to the body of christ the same way men fear death that's how they fear demons is that true that's how they fear poverty until certain people say let's enter this thing and find out and they entered and came out they said there's nothing there but we see jesus hebrews 2 verse 9 who was made a little lower than the angels of the for what the suffering of death this is jesus paying the price crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of god should do what should do what read your bible should do what test death for who every man the, this is your bible this is that's why i started by saying do you believe it that means once and for all jesus offered himself that the spirit of death will afflict him once for every man it's not talking about sleeping no jesus died a brutal death that was the spirit of death but he allowed it once so that no man would be buffeted by this nonsense again the bible says it he tasted it he tasted it he tasted the sting of death are you getting my point that was why when he was about to resurrect those gates of death in in psalm 24 said who is this king of glory that wants to come back no when we close the door you cannot come back again except somebody in this realm calls you who wants to call himself back he tasted death he tasted death he tasted death i believe this with all my heart see it is the truth you know that will make you free not the truth you have heard about it is not the light that rises that makes you arise it is the one that comes to you arise shine for your light has come it has always been there but it will never work until it comes to you he said and the word of the lord came the word of the lord came the word of the lord came let's look at verse 14. Ah, i love the word of god everybody read for as much as ye are partakers of flesh and blood he also himself took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had what the power of death that is the devil through death he passed through it so that he will destroy the power the devil and his power remember in revelation he said power was given to that spirit verse 15 everyone read and deliver them who through the word stop not through who through death through the fear there is a terror there is a spirit that's why every time wickedness is happening the spirit of fear always precedes it to make people afraid when a habal is saying three days you will not leave he's releasing the spirit of fear 
the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to what? This is what is going on. You can't go out in the morning because you are afraid. What if this car has an accident? What if the plane crashes? What if the luxurious just what if, what if, what if? Hi! Let me tell you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe what I'm sharing with you? You take this word as true and deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The fear of death brings bondage. Some of you are supposed to have traveled. You can't travel because you are wondering the car Number three, realize that death has been defeated. Revelations 1 verse 18. Revelations 1 verse 18. Please, let's rush. Revelations 1 verse, 7, verse 18. Please just write it and then we'll read it quickly. One to read. This is Jesus speaking. I am he that liveth and was what? Dead. And behold, I am alive forever. Amen. And I have the keys. Is that in your Bible? I have the keys. In other words, it is within my power to control its operation. I have the keys. Please realize this. I'm building up a revelation. So we see that he tasted death and he has the keys. We're going to find out where that key is today. Because he was talking to the churches. Talking to John and then to the church. He said, I have the keys. First Corinthians 15 verse 55. The scripture we saw. How can a spirit terrorize nations? Terrorize people? Oh death! Where is your sting? It likens the way death takes people to the sting of a scorpion. So he said, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions. Scorpions that sting. He said, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, you have been boasting that any man you take must enter. Where is now your victory? There are people who have defied the power of the grave. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Number four. How do you enforce your victory? You must apply the blood of Jesus by faith. Now I'm teaching you how to make it work in your life. Exodus chapter 12, please. Verse 7 and then 12 to 14. Please, let's hurry up. Exodus chapter 12. Moses showed us this revelation. Everyone look up. Now, hold on. Can you see that this is not the first time the spirit of death is passing over regions? Is that true? It has happened many times. And you can exempt yourself and your loved ones first and then stand to speak over others. You cannot give what you do not have. Is that true? And they shall take off the blood and strike it on the two sides of the post. And on the upper door post of the house wherein they shall eat it. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And smite the firstborn in the land of Egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute vengeance I am the Lord 13 and the blood shall be unto you what a token a sign a symbol a an indication for when I see the blood I will pass over you and what the plague the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you What's the name of that virus again? Huh? Ebola virus. 
and the plague, the Bible calls it a plague. It said, it shall not be upon you because it comes to destroy. It shall not be upon you. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I have prayed for too many people to contact communicable disease if I was faking what I'm telling you. Are you getting my point? It's easy to pray for people in a distance. But when you lay hands on people and you are breathing on people, I do this everywhere I go. I would have caught all kinds of things by now. The last time I went for a medical checkup, the doctor was surprised. See, the Bible says, we, it says we are not, how did he put it? We have not brought to you cunningly devised fables if you don't believe this thing it will show in your life one day and it will become obvious that truly you do not know hallelujah verse 14 and this day shall be unto you for a memorial and you shall keep the feast what feast you shall keep this mystery of the application of the blood. It's not an Old Testament concept. To the Lord, throughout your generation, He says you shall keep the feast in an ordinance. When? Are you seeing it now? It didn't say it will expire. The mystery of the operation of the blood to bring deliverance and to secure you is a mystery that had been there even before Jesus died. And the Bible says it is an ordinance that you will keep if you are interested in living. Are, are you getting what I'm saying now? So you must plead the blood. And there are three ways to plead the blood. Number one, in prayers. When you pray, you plead that blood. As the price. The blood not only saves, it delivers, it protects. You plead the blood in prayers. Hallelujah. Number two, by the mystery of the communion. The mystery of the communion. The cup. The body. And the cup. He says for this cause. Many of you take it unworthily. And some of you are sick. Some of you are weak. And some of you do sleep. Number three. The mystery of the blood of sprinkling. Hallelujah. He said you shall sprinkle it upon your walls. And upon every of these things. Three scriptural ways of engaging the power of the blood to bring us victory. Let's hurry up. The last way, or the last way of enforcing your victory is through the authority and power that is conferred in the name of Jesus. I like this one. Goodness. One of my best scriptures, Luke 10, 19, please. I'm about to jump up right now. Hmm. There is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain to break every chain Behold, see, conceive it as a reality that I have given you. I give you. The word there is not power like dunamis. It's the word exousia. I give you authority. The authority that comes with my office, I give it to you. To tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. This is the best part of the verse. And nothing shall by any means. You went to school. Brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of by any means? Whether it is by your mistake. Whether it is by your lack of prayer. What, by any means. If you stand in this office. I stake my reputation. That when it comes to protecting you. Nothing shall by any means there are different means it can come through your carelessness right your miss i i teach you a secret of spiritual immunity 
you will walk through challenges that are killing others by a mystery that you will never be able to understand. He said, nothing, nothing, nothing. It is on the strength of this scripture. The Bible says, surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, they shall scatter. He said, they will come to you in one way and scatter in seven ways. Behold, I give you authority. Exousia. While I was in the earth, there was authority that was given to me. And by reason of that authority, forces bowed. They didn't bow because my name was called Jesus. They bowed because of this authority. Are you getting my point now? And the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2, from verse 10, it says, Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name. What is in a name? It's an office. Jesus is not just the name of a person. The word Lord, see, listen. He said, God gave him a name. The name is not Jesus. I hope you know. I hope you know. No, the name is not Jesus. We call Jesus because it was the name of the person that stood in that office. Let's read on verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and of things in heaven and in earth and things under the earth. Next verse, please. And that every tongue should confess that that Jesus has entered this office called Lord. That's the name. That's the name. Lord, Master, Absolute Controller. And the Bible says whoever. That's why the Bible said the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. The worlds and they. It was the revelation. It was the coronation service that the psalmist saw. So he said the Lord said to my Lord. Sit down at the right hand until I make your enemies. He never mentioned Jesus there. He said the Lord. The absolute control of the universe. Now said to my Lord. Who got it by conquest. Sit down. And the Bible says, whoever enters this office, some things will start becoming possible. Are you getting my point? In Mark chapter 16, it said, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, in this office, Haya, it said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Whoever carries this office becomes a controller becomes a mysterious commander. Listen. If I cannot make it for Koinonia or I, there is a program and they keep a seat here, right? And they say this seat is for um, maybe the president or the pastor somewhere, right? And I call Yinka and I say, Yinka, I cannot make it, but I send you with my name. Are you seeing that? What they are interested in is not the personality. It is the office. The moment he comes, listen, if Yinka donates five million, whether I like it or not, everybody say, whoever occupies this office. That's why SSG the secretary to the federal government will go and represent good luck. And they will say, and the president said, every presidential car you see presidency. It doesn't mean Aso Rock. That means the collection of the people that are in this office. I hear the chains falling. You will only confront death when you stand in this office and say, oh death, where is your sting? Oh great, that vicious devil that will make a driver lose control and maim and destroy people. Where is your sting? Listen, the patriarchs of old were men of war. They fought war from birth till they died. Yet they were not afraid of the sword. 
It's not like our own that periodically it comes. They were born and bred in war. David was a man of war. I hear the chains falling. I come in that name. He sent me as an ambassador. Oh, I believe it. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians 5, verse 21. An ambassador is one who has been sent. 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 Dear lost born. Saw so many miracles in his crusade. And when he stands on the crusade ground, he says, do you believe in Jesus? And they say, yes. He says, he sent me. He sent me to this crusade to tell you your sins are forgiven. He sent me to declare, I'm speaking to you, that in that office your sins are forgiven. Now, then, we are what? Ambassadors. Envoys representatives with the full backing of heaven the full backing the bible says as my father has sent me the same way he equipped me the same way he was there for me that i could call on a legion of angels brothers and sisters this is not about being a man of god this is your positional advantage this is really the revelation of what we call new creation realities. Hallelujah. So you realize death is a spirit. It's not omnipresent. It operates through a network of wicked devils. But it's a spirit. And the revelation that you know translates into light and when that death sees you because light cannot, darkness cannot stand light so they shall take up deadly things and it shall not hurt them they shall pass an environment that has Ebola virus and rather than destroying them it will be a blessing for those who are infected because you come in the power look let me tell you brothers and sisters the bible says before the, the great and terrible day of the lord Elijah will appear again. You know who Elijah was? Elijah is the spirit of the prophetic. It's a true apostolic spirit that will challenge anything that is not God. Hallelujah. It's important what you believe. It's important what you believe. Say, I refuse to fear. Say it, I refuse to fear. You must kill fear from your life. Brothers and sisters, people do not just die. And you know, hold on. If it's just death that many people are afraid of, do you know there is a state that you'll be alive and you'll beg for death? Because of the, the, the way the devil can bastardize your body. The Bible says he kept his bones so that none of them are broken. Have you read that in your Bible? That's what we call shalom. It's a covenant of peace. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Hallelujah. And he said, peace I give you. He was not talking of quietness. He means I give you an ability to be undisturbed. My peace I give unto you. Not, that the, not as the world gives. So you can stand up tall. And people are asking you, what is the basis? You are just talking nonsense. Listen, I was in the city of Jos. Five days to 9-11, on the 7th, 7th of September, 2001, I think. That was when the first disastrous strike of the enemy. I was in the town. I was in the middle of all of these things. Are you getting my point? In my little life, I have seen a lot of things. When the plane crash that was going to happen some years ago, I think last year or two years ago, I was on my way to worry. I could feel that spirit of death. See, it's not that it chooses a particular plane. They are blood-tested spirits that just keep hoping something will work. 
when because we had problem landing and then we landed and we went to it, i knew something was wrong on my way back i, I flew to Kano. while we were in the air that was when the, uh, the the plane crash was happening so many people were calling me and because my phone was switched they thought that ah something happened ha ah, paul will go to a city they will kill him as soon as they leave he will get up <laughs> mystery man yeah it's in your bible Paul died many times. He would just lie down. And once they move, he would just get up. Don't get excited for nothing. Do you believe it? I remember a time when I saw in a vision, I saw my mother's coffin. I knew it was over. I saw people there crying. I saw it. And I got up. Ah, my family. There is a lady here, I'm sure she may be part of the people here. She used to be, when she was an unbeliever, she, used, she had one serious sickness, infirmity, and she was in the hospital. She told me that every time it was around maybe three to four, she would see the spirit of death. It would enter the world. You know how doctors walk around. She didn't know it was death, but this particular man will just enter and walk around to several beds. In the morning you hear crying. Death. Oh, death, where is your sting? I have met the spirit of death once, face to face in my life. Let me tell you that story briefly and then we pray. I was in secondary school, and the way we arrange our beds, I was close to the door. Listen, I'm being very sincere with you. I didn't know it was the spirit of death. While I was sleeping, very cold. I saw, you know how these films where they have these people that put on hood, like knights, all these kinds of people, that's how it came. I woke up, I was not in a vision, brothers and sisters, the same way I'm looking at you like this. He was walking around the hostel as though looking for someone. And then while if everybody was deep asleep, which was mysterious, there was no light. And then while it was about to go out, I was looking at it. It was looking at me. When it was about to turn, I looked at it. Very dark. With just bulgy eyes. You cannot see it. Some of you who have watched that film, Lord of the Rings. You know how those, those guys are? Those kings. That's how it is. How do you think those people wrote these things? I saw it. Never had a conversation. But today, I know I will meet it many times in many miracle services and in my travels across. And I've made up my mind, I will stamp it every day of my life. You must make that determination because death is real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The sting of death is real. If you joke with what I'm telling you, you will be alive in the morning. Ten minutes later, you are out take men of courage and audacity who is God speaking to tonight fear not brothers and sisters not the arrows of terrorism there is a prophetic destiny in this nation and the soul of this nation is already with God beyond the reach of anything I shared this thing when I was teaching in, in PFN crusade in Abuja that's the reason why Nigeria has the letter Y on the rivers. It's an imprint of the signature of the word Yahweh. That God is in charge. Listen. Upon this nation. Yes. It's not, it has nothing to do with Lord Lugar. That was a writing. Isaiah 18. A land whose rivers divide. God wrote his name there. Listen. You know why he used the waters? Go and read your Bible. Water has always symbolized abundance. And it has always symbolized the echo of God's voice. The voice of God upon the waters is mighty. Hallelujah. So many things will happen in this nation. Let me tell you. You see the thing happening? The Bible says, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The church needs to pray. And we need to realize that our prayers can withhold evil. 
Let's not just sit down powerless and hope that nothing will happen. Are you getting my point? And then number two, walk the principles of the kingdom. And brothers and sisters, you can walk fine, you can walk alive, you can move on strong. Refuse to die. It's a choice. Choose life. He said, I set before you. Is that true? Blessing and cursing. I didn't say the other three parts because obedience to parents, you already know that, right? And then your assignment. These are the three other factors that govern longevity. Your choice, choosing life. Obey your father and your mother that your days will be long and it will be well with you. And then finally, I shall not die but live to declare. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Let's do some prayer, even if it's just for five minutes. Hallelujah. Please spare yourself three, three. We are going to pray. Before we pray for you, we are going to intercede for this country. Three, three. Come on now, let's pray. I call for that priest in you. Because we are about to pray. Spare yourselves and let's pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shekete Papa. Pray for Zaria. Pray for Kaduna State. That's your Jerusalem. We stay the power of evil and death and terrorism. We command as ambassadors. Shekete Pokotopa. We challenge thrones. We challenge yokes. We challenge spells. Every manifestation of the spirit of death, of the sword, of the wickedness of men. We command those spirits. Rekete kotopo kotopa. Rente leke brosa. Embrekete tekete papa papa. We cause the powers in the heavens. We cause the powers, we cause the activities of necromancers, the activities of sorcerers, the activities of wizards. Make them for Otopakaya. He makes the diviners mad. He causes the wisdom of the wise to go backward. We pray. In the name of Jesus, we challenge death over Zaria, over Kaduna, over the north, over Nigeria. We rebuke you. We are the apostolic voices that cry, restore, restore, restore. You will not take the souls of men. We forbid you by the hand of God. We forbid you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We forbid you. We forbid you. We forbid you. We pray for the peace of Daria. We pray for the peace of Kaduna State. We pray for the peace of the North. We pray for the peace of our dear nation, God's own nation, with the signature of his majesty upon the borders of our nation oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory oh death where is your sting hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to rebuke the spirit of death. You now know it's a spirit. Cast it away from our environment. Cast it away from your family. It will not come upon the head of any of your loved ones. Go ahead and speak. I cause death over this territory, over my family. My loved ones are covered. There is a shield. There is a shield. That rider 
upon a pale horse will never find entrance not by accident not by sickness not by pestilence not by plague I break the power of death. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. I'd like you to plead the blood of Jesus across the territories like the lintel of the houses and upon your life and your family. Go ahead and plead the blood. We invoke the power of the blood. We invoke the mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. Pray, Koinonia. Over Zaria. We invoke the mystery of the blood. Over Kaduna State. We invoke the mystery of the blood. Over Nigeria. We invoke the mystery of the blood. Over our families, we command the blood. The power of the blood. We are sealed with the blood. Unto protection. Unto perseverance. Unto preservation. Unto health. Unto wellness. Pray. He said, my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone forth from my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. It says, I give you power. I give you authority. Hallelujah. I give you authority. Exousia. I bring you into an office and I give you the backing of that office. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And in the name of Jesus, you are going to release life everywhere everywhere in your life go ahead stretch your hands across the north the south the east the west go ahead and begin to prophesy life go ahead we speak life we speak life life we prophesy life to the borders of this city we prophesy life life we come in the authority of the Lord Jesus. Life. Life. In all the 36 states of the Federation, we speak life. 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 We prophesy. We release the spirit of life. We prophesy life. We speak life. 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 In the name of Jesus. We are life giving spirits. We command life. 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 Health. 
vitality. Life. Life. Hallelujah. Look up, we're rounding up. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Now let me explain to you what you just did. Verse 2. For the law that activates the spirit of life can do something. It can set men free. There is a principle that activates the operation. Are you seeing it now? When it comes to conquering sin and death, there is a spiritual law. It says it's called the law of the spirit of life that is resident in Christ Jesus. For the law. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. You are going to invoke the operation of this law in your life. And say in my life, right now, the law of life, the spirit of life, begins to work. Every dead organ, hear the word of the Lord. Every infirmity, the spirit of life, the spirit of life, the spirit of life. Holy Spirit, manifest as the spirit of life in my body. No cancer, no HIV, no Ebola virus, no infirmity. The spirit of life activated is a law. It needs to be activated. The law of the spirit of life. The law of the spirit of life that is resident in Christ Jesus immunes me, sets me free from the oppression that brings sin and death. I choose life. I choose life in my body. I choose life. Hallelujah. 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 Psalm 91. Psalm 91. From verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Next verse. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Next verse. Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not the destruction that wasted in noonday. Next verse. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side, but none shall come near, near you. Say it shall not come near me. Say it, it shall not come near me. Now in the next one minute, with every strength you have, you know all the weapons that this spirit uses. Accident, whatever, come against them. You are far from my dwelling. No accident. Not to my life, not to my family, not to God's people. I cause that spirit. Pray. No 
death, no accident, not by the sword, not by the arrows of wicked men, not by gunshots of robbers and wicked men. There is a spiritual immunity at work in my life, at work in my family. Hallelujah. 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 Let's look at two scriptures. Matthew 16, 28. Very quickly, we're almost rounding up. But this is very important. For many of us, I tell you the truth. This will give you confidence. Are you ready to read? One to read. Verily I say unto you, there are some people who are standing here. By whatever spiritual immunity, they will defy the laws of death. And they will be standing tall the Son of Man. John 8 verse 51 We're rounding up. Please believe these things. This is what makes men confident in this kingdom. You must be standing upon something. One to read. in your Bible it may be very difficult for many of us it's a man shall not live by bread alone there is another technology that can sustain the life of a man he said but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord and the Bible says if you keep that saying it can do something to you it will become for you the same thing as eating of the tree of life sustain you. Hallelujah. The last scripture and then we are done. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Thank you Jesus Christ. We are doers of the word. And God is committed to making this happen. There is no magic about it. Verse, from verse 2 or 3. Let's save time. Verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Verse 4. Verse 4. He said, Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Listen, take seriously what I'm saying. I'm not just speaking nonsense. And blessed shall be the fruit of your ground. Blessed shall be your cattle and the increase of thy king and the flocks of thy sheep. Verse 5. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Verse 6. This is the verse. Prophesy to yourself. One to read. Listen. That means when you go out, you are expected to return. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. This is the last prayer point. The Bible says you are blessed when you come in. That means you go on a journey we expect you to return. Hallelujah. You are in a flight we expect you to arrive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what happens. Lift your voice and pray. I am blessed. As I go out, as I come in, I am blessed. Empowered supernaturally.
Shekete ba 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 Blessed in my coming in. Blessed in my going out. Blessed in my coming in. Blessed in my going out. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Katapa Kotos Koto Brekateka Nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.